In today's video, your boy is going to be teaching you guys the best gold trading strategy that you have ever seen in your whole entire life, guys. Um, my name is Millie EFX. This is my YouTube channel. If you want to learn how to trade, if you want to learn how to trade Forex, like once you learn how to trade, you could trade the foreign exchange market, you could trade futures, you could trade crypto, you basically could trade any type of market that you want to you could even trade stocks but today this is a gold trading strategy video um i usually don't even trade gold but hey if you the pairs that i trade is literally guys let me show you the pairs that i actually trade so the pairs that i trade is gbp chf right i trade gbp chf and i also trade euro nzd these are my two pairs but once you know how to mark up the charts, once you know how to analyze the charts, hey, you could trade any market. And that is the reason why I'm showing you guys how to trade gold today, baby. So what I like to do is I like to start off my analysis on the weekly time frame. Once you have a clear indication of the directional bias on the weekly time frame, then you could go to your daily time frame. Then you could draw down to your H4 time frame. Then you could go to your H2 time frame. And if you want to, you could actually get your entries on the 30 minute time frame. And so, hey, step one, finding the flow of the market on the weekly time frame. And let's see what the flow of the market is on the weekly time frame. So on the weekly time frame, what is the market currently doing? The market is currently creating higher highs and higher lows baby higher highs and higher lows this is what we have right so we have higher high and then we have this higher low we have this higher high right then we have this push to the bottom we have this higher low right higher high higher low we have this higher high then we have this nice higher low and now we are having the higher high to potentially have that higher low guys so basically this is the market structure on the weekly time frame so basically this is the market structure on the weekly time frame so what do we have we have now what i like to do is i like to grab my little um comment section thingy and then i like to go you know what the weekly so i'll, I'll put like weekly bullish right so basically we know that the weekly is bullish creating higher highs and higher lows right we understand that hey the weekly is bullish right now what i would do is i would drop down to the, the daily time frame guys we need to see structure you know it's like a microscope right like the weekly time frame you're gonna see the structure right the daily time frame you're gonna see the structure even better right you're gonna get like a like a, a better that's a better view on how the market is actually flowing so if we actually go down to the daily time frame we are we are looking to see what higher highs and higher lows higher highs and higher lows so let's go here so this right we have our weekly right our weekly bullish structure and now let's see our daily bullish structure man so as you could see um let's go here let's draw a little part tool get our part tool so what do we have here guys we have a nice push to the upside price creating a high price creating a low right price now coming making a nice right look a nice and let me show you let me show you guys something right let me show you guys something so from this point right so from august 25th 2022 all the way right all the way to august right so basically from what is it october so basically from about october 2022 to now current time which is september 2024 on a weekly time frame the market is literally bullish right so if you know if the market bullish then you know you should be taken by trades right flowing with the weekly bias right that's where your higher probability setups is gonna be Right, the buy moves will always be bigger than the sell moves because the weekly time frame is bullish. Now, let me show you guys how you could actually, right? How you could actually follow the trend because the trend is your friend. So right now, as you can see, we have our high. 
Then we have our push, we at our low, we are our higher high, we are our higher low, right? We are our higher high, right? Higher low, higher high, higher low. And then we are our nice higher high, higher low, and higher high. As you can see, man, on the daily time frame, we have nice bullish structure, right? So now we identify that hey, on the weekly time frame is bullish. Daily time frame is also bullish, right? Also bullish. So daily time frame, bullish. Let's go where bullish. And then let's check on the H4 time frame. And this is where we could actually start looking for bullish candlestick patterns that you could actually have potential entries, right? So let's go just drop down to the H4 time frame right let's show down to the h4 time frame notice how right and and, and this is the thing on the h4 time frame you don't want to be buying when the market is creating lower highs and lower lows you only want to be buying when the market is creating higher highs and higher lows and let me sh let me pinpoint some of these um uh, patterns for you so let's 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 zoom let's actually zoom in right let's zoom in so we know the weekly time frame bullish daily time frame bullish and then we got weekly time frame bullish, daily time frame bullish. So on the H4 time frame, we're actually looking for bullish candlestick patterns, right? Let's now let's go. Let's just go to some random part. We know we did the weekly analysis from about 2020, right? So from 2020, we know the weekly time frame bullish. On daily time frame is also bullish, but hey, e although the the daily time frame is bullish and the weekly time frame is bullish we could still catch good moves guys like we could literally catch intraday um sell positions we could catch swing trading sell positions we could catch day trading buy positions swing trading buy um, uh, buy positions right so let me show you guys so if we go if we drop down to the daily time frame right where did we did our analysis we so basically we did our analysis from this point which is october right so basically from October, right here is where we actually did 2023. That's where we did our analysis. And let me show you guys how I like to actually mark up the chart. So if I know on the week, on a daily time frame is actually bullish, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start looking for areas of support and resistance for my break and my retest, right? So this is what I would do, right? I would come into the market. I would like, you know what? This look like a nice area of resistance, right? Let's go up. This look like a nice area of resistance in this area, right? Because now we had kind of like this touch. We had this touch and then we had this kind of fake out. Price came back down and price actually used the resistance as support. Because price, as you can see, man, resistance turns support and price actually come back, came back down and used this same area of support part right literally guys and then what happened price actually right price actually exploded to the upside man and and this is the key once you find these areas on the weekly time frame and then on the daily time frame you could actually like your weekly time frame um areas is going to be way more significant than your h4 h1 30 minutes man because the Weekly time frame is literally the strongest areas and the strongest time frame, man. Come on, it's the weekly time frame, right? So you notice how we actually broke above on the weekly time frame. We came back here down, used this weekly, right? Weekly, right? Weekly resistance turn, right? Turn so part man notice how we had this weekly resistance turn to support and if we go down to the daily time frame price break retest on the daily time frame and if we drop down to the h4 time frame right let's drop down to the h4 time frame and let me show you guys it on the h4 time frame in that same area so you notice how price right and this is key guys so at the at this weekly resistance 
price came into this area we don't want to buy as yet guys like we literally don't want to buy as yet because you know why we don't want to buy as soon as price get into this area we're not sure price could reject and start to fall and start making sell patterns right so this is bearish pattern so notice how when price came to this area right this Remember now, we're looking for buys because on the weekly time frame is bullish, daily time frame is bullish, on the H4 time frame we're looking for bullish pattern. Price came to this area, we're not trying to buy yet because we need to see bullish structure. Price actually started making what? Price started making lower highs, right? Lower highs and lower lows, right? Notice guys, we're looking for buys. All you have to do is be patient and wait on the market structure shift. You notice hey, when the market structure actually shifted, create a higher high and then made a higher low, made a higher high and made a higher low and then we came back into this area, break above, made a higher high and then we made a higher low at the same area knowing that hey, the weekly time frame is bullish, the daily time frame is bullish and now the H4 time frame is bullish and we're at a weekly resistance now turning support. What do you think we should do? We should take a buy trade, man. And you have to let everything flow with the weekly and the daily time frame. Once the weekly, the daily time frame, and the H4 time frame correlate, voila! You get your trades, baby. And when you watch your areas, you want to start looking for these bullish or bearish patterns. If you're at a weekly resistance and you're looking to buy or you're looking to sell, just look for the lower highs and lower lows if you're looking for sell higher highs and higher lows if you're looking to buy guys trading could be simple man stop making everything complicated with a million indicators and a million this and a million that and then that's this and the oscillator this and blue 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 black blue 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 dot make it simple keep it simple guys and this is how to trade gold man so if you want to learn more of my strategy just hit the subscribe button man it's free like i'm gonna be posting videos on there for free like free 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 everybody loves free 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 so hit the subscribe button and see you guys in the next video man gang